Hello and welcome to the 357. My name is William Spear and this is 17. In the previous episode, Tenny, the janitor, collapsed after being overwhelmed by an ancient memory. His job coach, Jennifer Hargrove, is helping him to stand up. And now, episode two, titled, Who Said That? Jennifer helped Tenny to stand. Once upright, his knees threatened to give out again, and he leaned on the wall for support. She asked him what happened, but Tenny looked across the auditorium. New super, come to close the school, she said, and finish my chance of going to college. Tenny walked away, and Jennifer reminded he didn't need the cane. The new super was Mills Stefano. Pulled back hair with silver rimmed glasses and a thin metal banded watch. Professional through and through. De Stefano was talking with D.B. Baker, the school's principal. Baker presided over the once dynamic Gunderson High School, now mired in a miserable economy. She had applied for the superintendent job, but lost. With them was Trace Jones, the chief of staff of De Stefano all the gloss of her boss, but only a few years removed from college. A couple of teachers were also present. Tenney approached the group, and Baker introduced him. He sniffed at Jones, but wrinkled his nose. He moved to DeStefano, inhaled, and repeated. His eyes lit up. He shook his head up and down, dropped his cane, and staggered backwards. Chief Jones spoke. Let me help you find a rocking chair, old timer. She hooked her arm through his and guided him away. A thousand voices screamed inside of Tenny. Tenny, don't! No, don't! Don't let her do that! Tenny, no! He spun around, and his movement sent Jones flying into a row of chairs. Then he pounded his chest, yelled 17, and ran out of the auditorium. You've just listened to episode 2 of 17. Theme music is through the courtesy of Lemon Music Studio at Pixabay. The 357 is written and produced by William Spear. Thank you for listening.